everybody. Uh, this time we're going to be given three of four possible coordinates of a quadrilateral and we need to find the fourth coordinate to ensure that this is in fact a rectangle. Okay, um, a quick visual here just to show what we're talking about. So suppose we have this rectangle called R, S, T, and U. Okay, and we're given R, S, and T, and we've got to find U so that this is, in fact, a rectangle. Now, the properties of a rectangle are going to show that the um, they have the same length and the midpoints will be shared um, when we're talking about the diagonals. So, we first need to find the diagonal between R and T and uh, exactly what um, that midpoint is. And once we do that, we can do some work to find the other coordinate U so that SU shares that same midpoint. Okay, so first off, midpoint of RT. All right, we need to average the coordinates. Let's look at RT and look at the X coordinates. We have negative three and five added together is two. Two divided by two is one. The Y coordinates, negative one and negative two negative 2 um, and negative 1 make a negative 3, divide that by 2, um, that would be negative 1.5. Okay, so we've established the coordinates right here for this midpoint. We can call that M. Alright, now let's use this linear analogy to talk about this missing coordinate U. We need to find um, coordinates of U, but we're given S and we now know the midpoint, which is the coordinates 1, comma, negative 1.5. Okay, S is negative 1, 2. And what we need to do is ask ourselves, what did we do to go from negative 1, to po from positive 1 to negative 1? Okay, well we went minus 1. Doesn't it make sense that the X coordinate of the other point would be plus 1 in the other direction? So we, that would then say the x coordinate of u would be 1 plus 1, 2. Okay, oh, let's back up again. Nope, we didn't do minus 1. We went from 1 to negative 1. That's a distance of minus 2. So, over here we'd be going plus 2. And if we go 1 plus 2, that gives us a 3. All right, so there's our missing x coordinate. Now, let's do the same for the y. We're at negative 1.5, and we go all the way to a positive 2. Okay, so what did we do? Well, we went a total of a positive 1.5 to get to 0, and then another 2, and that is positive 3.5. Doesn't it make sense to get the other way? We'd have to go negative 3.5. That is in fact what we do. Negative 1.5 and negative 3.5 gives us a negative 5. So, our missing coordinate for this point U, so in order for this to be a rectangle, is 3 comma negative 5. And there you are.